Hi guys, this is Inspiratic or Marlene and I'm wishing you a happy new year. For this year, I decided to start this YouTube channel to show you guys more how I paint. And today we'll be painting some pastel skies. So if you're up for it, let's get to it. So while I'm painting, I'll also be answering some of the questions you asked on my Q&A story from Instagram. So the first question is, which paints do you use? I just used a Windsor and Newton gouache set for my gouache paintings and then the Windsor and Newton gold ink for the gold details at the end. Next question is, can you show your first painting ever? And it's actually the this one of a skyline and I bought the set from the dollar store and just wanted to try it out so bad and I just did a skyline and added some bouquet effect thinking it was aesthetic so this is no longer on my feed someone asked how do you decide the color scheme you want to go for when creating a piece and it just depends on my mood, but I usually prefer to work with yellows and oranges just because I like them. And then I like to combine them with other colors and experiment with them. So in this case, I'm working with oranges, yellows, and pinks. Sometimes when I want to experiment with new color combinations, I'll also look up some color palettes online and use those as a starting point. But mainly knowing some of the basics of color theory can help you create cohesive color palettes for your paintings. Another question is how do you come up with ideas on your own or where do you get your references from? So I actually, when I have an idea, I'll usually go search for references, multiple references for that idea because I can't just paint from the mind. And for example, in this uh, painting, I'm painting some clouds. So I went to look for cloudy skies on Pinterest or on Google, wherever you want to go. And I'll start sketching my ideas based on these references and how they look like and then adjust them to my own style. And so this brings us to the next question, which is what inspires your art style? And I think my art style is very much inspired by digital illustrations. I really like the big strokes in digital painting and how every detail can be represented abstractly. And so I like to capture this feeling using gouache. So that's where I get the inspiration for my art style. The next question is how do you find time to make art in a busy day and usually I'll just try to schedule in a night a Friday night or a weekend night where I'll be painting and if I can't make it that week I'll just try to find a 10 to 20 minute lunch break where I can doodle or paint and just practice and it doesn't have to come out good I just have to make something to practice beautiful first of all thank you second I actually never went to art school but I did take a couple art classes when I was younger and I learned the basics of drawing like shadows and light and I also took a couple of oil painting classes but mostly I just learned on my own and looked up tutorials online and tried to practice every week and every day and 
just try to keep learning and improving. Another good question is how do you practice color mixing? So most of it comes down to just learning the basics, watch a few tutorials online, and then try to limit your color palette when you first start to paint. So like a set of five or six colors and try to paint a painting using only these. And this will force you to practice color mixing to get the colors that you actually want. A lot of you asked me what my favorite color was and for painting I really like using yellows and oranges because it's so versatile and it's bright and happy but in real life I don't have any favorite color. The next question is when did you first start painting and I started painting when I was around 12 when I first went to my art classes I was 12 and I learned oil painting. So the last question is what's on your mind and when it's not food most of the time it's just what painting I'm going to create next and just thinking of new ideas and new paintings I want to make. So that's it for all the questions. Thank you for sending them in. I tried to answer as many as I could and some of them were similar. I hope you enjoyed this little paint with me slash Q&A session and here's the final painting. Thank you.